Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today we're doing a good old fashioned foundation declutter. So, uh, you can tell the foundations are not there anymore. I was taking a look at my foundations and I was like, this is getting a bit excessive. And considering I will never stop buying foundations, I have learned that each year I've got to go through them, get rid of the ones I'm not using, to make room for the ones that are to come. So that's what we're doing in this video. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and your comments. They all truly do mean a lot to me. And so, let's get into this video okay so we're not going to do a full-fledged outfit of the day because i'm still in my pajamas <laughs> but i will tell you about them very quickly before we get into this video i love these pajamas they are from target and they are the softest pajamas i have ever worn they just hug you with the softness of like a teddy bear like think of like a baby's blanket and that's how it feels to me and maybe i'm being a little bit extra um but i truly love these pajamas i have about seven pair of these and i'll talk more of the, about these in my favorites video but they're so 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 pretty and comfortable um i'm not gonna stand up because it's a short and top set and they are a little short a little inappropriate for the youtube so that's why i'm not gonna stand up and show them for you show them to you but i will link them down below so you can take a look at how they look but we're gonna now get into this foundation review it is long i'm so sorry that the video is long but i did have a lot of foundations to get through and i did want to kind of give you a quick summary as to why i do or do not like it anymore and why i'm going to keep it or declutter it so that is why the video is a little longer than it probably should be but that's it so i hope that you guys have enjoyed the video and that's it Okay, so here is my foundation collection. And as you can see, it's just too much. I really need to declutter this area, make some more space and really figure out what I use and what I don't use. So let's pull all of these out and go through them. Okay, let's get started. So I counted my foundations and I have 70 foundations. So this should be fun. All right, starting off with the first one here. So this is gonna be the Syrah, the Dew Drop Foundation. And I literally just got this in the mail yesterday. I haven't even tried it, but I am very, very interested in trying it. So um, this is the packaging of it. It's so pretty. Um, I got the shade 13 and I think this should be a good shade match. Once again, I haven't tried it, but Based on how that looks, I think I can make that work. Um, as of right now, Surratt is doing a collaboration with Kinky Sweat, and you can get 25% off of any of their products on their website with the code Kinky Sweat 25. And I'll leave that down below. Um, so I have actually I received a package yesterday from Surratt. Um, my other package is coming today, and I'm thinking of ordering some more stuff. Um, so I, I think I am going to do a dedicated video to them. But let me know if you want to see a separate review of this foundation. So obviously keep in this one. Next, we have the Lancome Skin Feels Good Tinted Moisturizer. Um, and this is beautiful. I really, really love this foundation. I have the shade 08 in Honey. And this just glides onto the skin beautifully. Really does look like a second skin. But what I really like about this foundation is that even though it can be used more like a tinted moisturizer, it can be built up and does provide more coverage than your typical tinted moisturizer. So I was really shocked about the coverage that this one provided. Really love this one, so she's a keeper as well. Then we have the Fenty Beauty which one is this? This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I have the shade 350. And guys, I really don't like this one. And I'm shocked because I love the Pro Matte for so long. But this one comes out to be just too dewy. And you guys know I love Mia Glow. But for some reason, this one just, I don't know, it's too dewy. And it doesn't really last on the skin. Like I feel like it breaks down because it is a little more hydrating than I would prefer. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. And it breaks my heart, because I love Fenty. This is the Il Maquillage Foundation, woke up like this. And I was really shocked about this. So some of you all may have seen, some of you all may not, but um, 
I did a video collaboration with Il Maquillage, so um, I am in some of their ads for this foundation. And I have the shade 155, and my reaction to the foundation in their ad is dead on. I was so shocked at how perfect the shade match was, and it wore beautifully on the skin. This is a really good foundation, so I'm keeping that. Uma Beauty Say What Foundation. So I purchased this during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, and you might be wondering why it's on the package, because I have yet to use it. Guys, I don't know why I don't want to reach for this. I don't know, y'all help me out. What is wrong? Why is she still in the package? So I have the shade Bronze Venus T1W, and this is my second time purchasing this foundation. The first time I got it, I got it in a different shade, which I think was too dark. So I got this shade because it's lighter, but I haven't even tried it to confirm if this is my shade match. I think it is so. I think it's gonna be a good shade match, but why is she still in the box? I don't know. I'm really thinking about taking it back because I haven't used it at all. I don't know what it is. I wanna like it, but I just don't reach for it at all. <sighs> I'll think about it. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. <laughs> All right, so this is the Kosas Tenet Face Oil. If you know me, you know I love this product. This particular one was gifted to me by Kosas. I have another one right here. Yeah, this is the one that I purchased because it I can feel that I've used it more than this one. Um, and so Kosas actually gifted me the shade 7.5 and 8. 8 is too deep. 7.5 is a good shade match for me. Um, and I love everything about this. Beautiful, lightweight on the skin. It does contain oil, but the oils are not heavy oils. And they really do blend into the skin to add further moisture and hydration to the skin. So if you have oily skin, this foundation could still work for you because it's going to give your skin the hydration that it needs that typically causes our skin to be oily. So I love, love, love this foundation. Definitely keeping it. This is a oldie but goodie CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir, Healthy Elixir Foundation. And I believe this one has been discontinued. I wore the shade 7.5 and this was my jam in 2018. I've worn it all the time, hits the broken cap. Um, but I'm gonna declutter it because I haven't used this since, I don't think I used this all of last year and I didn't use it this year. But I did love it while I used it. Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. She's so a keeper. Um, I have the shade 420 Medium. I bought this when I was in Europe because I was watching Alicia Kinky Sweat's video while we were there. And the way that she raved about this foundation, I was like, um, I must get this. And it's, it's beautiful. It's just, it's one of those foundations that looks like skin, but makes your skin look perfected and it's got really good coverage. It has um, SPF 30 in it. There's no flashback with this foundation, which is great. And it's not heavy on the skin. It's just a beautiful skin-like foundation. These are samples of the Danessa Myricks foundation. And the shade that actually works best for my skin is gonna be W05, this shade right here. Um, this shade, I wanna say right here, is the better one for like cream contouring and it is shade N09. The shade right here is too dark, W06. It's too, um, it's too warm for like a contour, um, you, but I could use it as a bronzer if I wanted to. And then this shade right here, W03, I would use for um, concealer under the eyes if I wanted to use it. So here's the thing, the, this formula is quite dry, I mean, you need to use an oil with it, which Danessa typically does use a lot of like illuminating and oil-based products before she applies her foundations. But when this gets on the skin, it does not move. I'm talking like does not move at all. And the skin does look very flawless. I've kept these foundations because I want to try it again with one of my favorite oils because I have yet to use it with my oils. So I think I am going to keep it. I'm going to keep though these two and declutter these two since I don't really reach for these two. AJ Crimson Dual Skin Foundation. This is the refill, which is why it's packaged like this. I have the shade four, beautiful foundation. It's just beautiful on the skin. Can be very full coverage if you want it to be, but it can also be worn, you know, medium to light coverage. I mean, it's just perfection. Makes the skin look very healthy, 
luminous, and it's not overly dewy, especially for it to be a cream foundation, which I really do like because sometimes cream foundations can get excessively dewy and feel heavy on the skin, and this one does not. It's beautiful. Chantecaille. So this is the, the Future Skin Foundation. I have the shade Banana, and I was really shocked how, by how much I liked this one. Very lightweight on the skin. This is one of those foundations where I feel like you can put it on and go, like not having to add any other products to your face. And I, it's really just a beautiful natural skin-like foundation. But yeah, it's like a whipped formula almost. And so I feel like it allows for the foundation to really blend into the skin and seep into the skin. And this color does work very well for me as well. Here is the Haley's Reset Liquid Matte Foundation. I have the shade 6.65 Neutral. And this is such a good drugstore foundation. So you can buy Haley's from Target. But I wore this to the Celine Dion concert back in January and I had this on from like six something in the morning until way after the, the concert and this joker looked flawless I mean she looked beautiful I would I'm gonna declutter it only because I have other foundations that do the same thing that I like better but if you were interested in like a $20 or less foundation um, that really gives you great coverage, has good staying powder, power, not powder, power, make the skin look really good, I would suggest this one. But I am gonna declutter it because don't reach for it. This is the RCMA Series Favorites palette in the shade Shinto, and I love this. So I first purchased this because I found out this is what Beyonce's makeup artists use on her when she performs because it is the only foundation that will last on her skin throughout any of her concerts. And I said, well, if it's good for Beyonce, it's going to be good for me. <laughs> but I really do love it. So I like to use this shade in the winter months as a, my foundation. This is a good shade for me in the um, summer months when I get more of a tan. This is what I call my very light <laughs> um, bronzer shade. And this is a shade that I use for my under eyes. So I love that I can bring this one palette and I have foundation, concealer, and like a very light bronze color um, right here. I barely use this one because it makes my under eye a little too bright for my liking. Um, this formula lasts so well on the skin. It is, I would almost say that it's sweat proof because it just doesn't move, but I love how well it sinks into the skin and blends into the skin and looks so natural. Armani Luminous Silk, such a classic. So this one was gifted to me by Armani. This is the one that I purchased myself. And then they also gifted me shade nine. So I wear the shades 8.75. Um, this is a perfect shade for me. Shade 9 is a bit neutral. You can kind of see it here in my lighting. Um, shade 9 works, but I do look a little casket ready. Just a little casket ready with shade 9. Um, so shade 8.75 is perfect. It's got really good warmth to it, but it's not too warm. Oh, this foundation is a straight classic. I mean, I'm not decluttering this ever. It's literally silk on the skin. It's going to give you just a perfected canvas. This is what I love to call like perfect wedding day foundation. It's just beautiful, natural finish type of a foundation that's gonna last on the skin and just make your skin look perfected. It's a beauty industry cult favorite for a reason, so. She's not going anywhere. ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I have mine in the shade Dark 155W. And this was a little warm on the skin, but I was able to make it work. This was an actual surprisingly good foundation. Like I was really shocked by how well it performed, how long it lasted on the skin. I did a full day wear test on this foundation. And any of these foundations that I have done a review on, I'm just gonna link my foundation playlist in the description box. So if you want to go and take a look at any of them, then you can. However, I am gonna declutter it because I don't reach for it. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation and this is in the shade Amber and ooh, this foundation is beautiful, like beautiful. Very full coverage. Um, it comes out the gate full coverage. So this is a foundation that I typically would reserve for a more um, glammed up event. 
But if you like full coverage and you want to wear full coverage every day, but you don't want to feel, want to feel like it's heavy on the skin, this is a good one for you. It's gonna last all day, 24 hour foundation. And like I said, it gives you full coverage without looking cakey. So she's a keeper. Along with the Becca Skin Love Foundation, this is the Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation, also in the shade Amber, and this actually is half off at Sephora right now. I just checked this morning. This is a beautiful foundation. Not full day coverage because it is more of a dewier foundation, but it, it does look really pretty on the skin. So this is one that I reach for if I'm like, all right, I want to put on foundation today because I'm going to run, you know, a few errands, not doing too much, but I kind of want to just put something on my face and, you know, make my skin my skin look like nice and glowy, this is a good one for it. We have the Kiko Milano Skin Tone Foundation and I have this one in the shade Warm Beige 125. So I also purchased this one when I went to Europe last year and it's funny because I ended up wearing this foundation the latter half of the trip. So I think I purchased this foundation on day three day four that we were there. I think it was day three that we were there and I ended up wearing this foundation the rest of the seven days that we were there. I love it. It's so lightweight. It's great for everyday use and um, it has about light to medium coverage. You can build it up to about medium, um, but it has more of a lighter coverage. I'm keeping that one as well. Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I have mine in the shade 410C since when have I ever been cool tone? Their shades are just, <laughs> their shades are hilarious. But this foundation is beautiful. Um, as you can see, I've used a decent amount of this foundation. This one, love it. It's, it, it's luminous on the skin, but it's not overly dewy. Has good coverage. But I, I think what won me over with this one was I bought it last summer. Yeah, it came out last summer. And I used to just put the smallest amount on my face just to like cover up redness. But I would use my fingers and just blend it into the skin and walk out the door and it looked phenomenal. And that's when I fell in love with this foundation. She's definitely a keeper. I need to use her more too. Nars Sheer Glow, classic, classic foundation. Um, I wear Caddis in all of the NARS foundations. And my favorite thing about NARS foundations is the undertone of this particular shade. It's got a peachy undertone and it looks stunning on the skin. I also like that this foundation is not overly dewy. The name is Sheer Glow. You don't look dewy, you just look refreshed. I think that's a good word for this foundation. It's refreshed, it's lightweight, but it does offer nice medium coverage if you want it to be and it's just great. Definitely a keeper. Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. So this one is in the shade DN3. It's a good shade match. I don't even think this one is sold anymore in the drugstore, um, but this, it looked very beautiful on the skin. It gave the skin a nice healthy glow, and I'm gonna declutter it because I don't reach for it, but this was a beautiful foundation. The Beauty Blender Foundation. I have mine in the shade 4.20, and I do believe the shade is a little deep, but I can make it work. Let me see. I haven't worn this one in so long. Oh yeah, that is a little deep. And kind of red too. What was I thinking, Chels? What? Who told me this was my shade? So this foundation is beautiful actually. <laughs> I just don't know why I bought this shade. I really don't, but this is their bounce foundation. And you know, there was a little controversy because of the shade range initially with it. Um, but I know that they have launched more shades. So I think I'm gonna declutter this one because this is just too dark and red. But I know that the Sephora VIB winter sale is coming starting next week. So I might repurchase it in a lighter shade because this looks beautiful on the skin. So just to give you a quick rundown of it, um, definitely medium to full coverage. And if I remember correctly, the finish is nice and natural. So not too dewy, not matte. Um, and it just, it looks flawless on the skin. It really does. Okay guys, Fenty Pro Matte Foundation. I bought this foundation, not this particular bottle. This is a newer bottle. <laughs> but I bought this foundation the day it launched. It launched in September, 2017, right around my birthday. And I loved it. I mean, just could not get enough of this. It, it was my favorite foundation for probably two years straight. And 
as my skin has normalized and is not as oily, it is too dry for me now. So when I do use it, I have to use an oil because like if it is too dry. But I used it recently and I was like, is it not? What? Huh? It's a, it's a beautiful foundation, but I feel like my taste in foundation has been a little bit more refined and I don't like it as much as I used to like it. So I, I, I want to declutter it, but I don't want to declutter it because it's Fenty. <laughs> I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. This is in the shade 330 Toffee. This is a shade that I wear in all Maybelline foundations. And I used to love this foundation. I want to say in like 18. Or, was it, or did this come out like early last year in 19? Either way, this, this was a good one from the drugstore. However, I'm going to declutter it because I don't use it anymore. Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. I have mine in the shade 9 Dark. Love this foundation. Very lightweight on the skin. So this is like my go-to, you know, I want a little bit of coverage and just like, you know, a little highlighter blush, fill my brows in, lip gloss and go type of foundation. That's what this one is. And um, so I'm definitely keeping this one. The Revlon Candid Foundation, shade 440. Oh, this was another beautiful one that I got so much use out of. Oh, so pretty. But I'm gonna declutter it because I don't wear it anymore. And I know I'm not gonna reach for it, but it was pretty. Armani Neo Nude Foundation. I have this in the shade um, 7 and 8.75. So 8.75 is a better shade match for me. 7 is too light too light um this is a lighter more like a light coverage foundation and it looks really nice on the skin definitely gives you a natural glow um this is for the person who loves lighter weight or lighter coverage foundations not heavy on the skin it's gonna probably blur some redness even out the skin tone um but still make you feel like you've got you know your face but better um, these are the differences in shades 8.75 and 7. As you can see, 7 does lean a little bit more pink, um, whereas 8.75 does give you more warmth. So um, Armani sent shade 7 to me. I purchased shade 8, 8.75. So um, I'm keeping 7 just for my makeup kit. And I wear 8.75. The Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation, same shade, 330 Toffee. And I wanted to like this foundation for so long. At first, I didn't like it because I felt like it was too full coverage. Um, and so then I repurchased it again because it was like $5. Wore it once, and I really did like it. It was pretty, but I didn't reach for it afterwards. So I'm going to declutter this one because I just don't wear it. Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is such a classic. Once again, shade 330. And I don't reach for it, but I feel like it's a classic. So I should keep it. Oh, maybe pile. Maybe pile. <laughs> All right. L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation, shade Classic Tan 110. This is another good one. I think Maybelline and L'Oreal make some of the best foundations at the drugstore. I enjoyed this foundation, um, but I'm going to declutter it simply because I don't use it. Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation, shade 10A1 Caramel. This is a beautiful foundation. So this foundation, I actually did a dupe video against the Tom Ford Waterproof Foundation Concealer. And this is a really good dupe for this one. Um, this is one of my favorite foundations. Like, oh. Let's, let's, let's just go ahead and talk about him now. Actually, let's finish talking about this one and then we'll go to this one. So this one, long wear, does not budge. The color is really good too. This, this particular shade is a good shade match. And by the end of the day, I really could not see too much of a difference at all between these two foundations. Um, but because I love this one so much, I am gonna declutter this one because if I'm gonna reach for one of those it's going to be this one this one just has a perfected finish tom ford is another one of tom ford and nars i would have to say are my favorite foundation brands meaning that pretty much 
if they make it, I'm gonna like it. And as you can see, I have a few different foundations from NARS and a few different from Tom Ford. This one was my first Tom Ford foundation. So I do have like a special love for it because it was the first, but it is waterproof. It does not budge. I have the shade Sienna, which is 9.0. This shade is discontinued. So the new shade in Tom Ford that I wear is either 7.7 .7 or 8.7. I can wear both, but love this foundation. I've had it for so long, never gonna declutter it. I'm gonna throw it out when it tells me I can no longer use it. <laughs> wear Beauty Foundation. I have mine in the shade 380W, and this is a nice, pretty, everyday foundation. Has light to medium coverage. I like the doe foot applicator because you can put on, you know, a good amount and then spread it across the face and it really does make the face look really beautiful the finish i'm gonna say is a radiant finish and it's nice like just a nice everyday solid foundation so i'm gonna keep this one l'oreal true match i have mine in the shade in seven this is one of the only drugstore foundations i probably will keep because it really is high-end quality um i love this color the finish is just beautiful. Every time I use it, I, I do feel like I have on a high-end foundation. And it really is flawless on the skin. So I, I highly recommend this one, especially if you're someone who doesn't like to spend too much money on their foundations. The Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation. Ooh, it's such a favorite one. Um, I have the shade RG75. And this shade, honestly, is probably too dark but the undertone is not too red so i can make it work it does have argan oil in it so if you don't like for your foundations to have oil in it um you know maybe steer clear of this one but it's once again it's like the kosas oil it's not an oil that's going to be heavy on the skin or like sit atop the skin it's going to blend into the skin definitely is a dewy foundation it's going to look luminous on the skin and it's going to look dewy on the skin but i think because I love the finish so much and I do love a good glow. This gives me a beautiful glow. Like this is a foundation I would take with me on a vacation just to like be sun-kissed and extra dewy and glowy. She's a winner. Here is the Black Opal True Color Foundation and it is, I, what shade do I wear? Truly Topaz. And this foundation is really beautiful. I actually have a lot of these foundation sticks and I use them um, on my clients. This is a really, really, really good drugstore foundation. So I, I lied. I'm gonna keep the L'Oreal one and I'm gonna keep this one. It's a cream foundation that blends very well into the skin, but it lasts all day as well. And I love that it doesn't look cakey and too full coverage on the skin. So I'm keeping this one. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the Dewy Foundation and I you so love this one. I have the shade Caramel. I did do a full review on this one. This is a beautiful one from the drugstore as well. Um, <laughs> I just, it was such a shocker by how much I like this one. It doesn't have that bad paint smell like their regular one does, like the regular Photo Focus one does. Um, and it, it looked really well on the skin and it's not overly dewy either. So I would recommend this one. However, because I don't use it, I'm gonna declutter it. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I wear the shade Caramel and I need to start wearing this one more because it's a beautiful one. It's one of those classic foundations. Like I feel like even if I don't really wear this a lot because I actually don't really wear it a lot, I have to keep it because it's just a classic, but I do like it. Okay, NARS Soft Matte Foundation, Cat is. This, this foundation is amazing. You're gonna hear about it at the end of the month. Um, but this foundation is so beautiful. This foundation is what I thought of when I um, look at the Haley's foundation in terms of it's got a beautiful soft matte finish, nice full coverage, medium to full coverage, long day wear, love this one. And this is the reason why I'm decluttering Haley's because if I'm gonna go for that type of foundation, I'm reaching for the NARS one. But it's beautiful, love it. Okay, CoverGirl Clean Fresh Foundation. I have the shade 610 Rich, Rich Deep. And this was a nice one from the drugstore. Nothing overly impressive in the terms of, like I liked it and I thought it worked well from the drugstore. But in terms of like this foundation up against my favorites over here, it, it doesn't compare, so I'm decluttering it. Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This is in the shade Y445. This shade is a little deep for me. Of course, this is a deluxe sample, and I can make it work. And I do like this foundation. 
I find that this one um, is definitely more dewy, but you know, using it with the right combination of products, it's not overly dewy on the face. And I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. All right, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, another classic. So I have this in the shade five in one, and I think this is a good match. I actually have not worn this particular shade. I decluttered um, my first one because I had had it for so long. And I forgot the shade that I had in that one. But I remember that one being like a little lighter. Like I could only wear that one in the winter. So I think this is a better shade match for me. But I mean, come on, who doesn't know Estee Lauder Double Wear? And what I like about this one is even though this one is very full coverage and definitely matte, it is not a dry matte and it's not an uncomfortable matte. So I can definitely work with this one and you know, for those days where my skin might be a little bit more parched, add a drop of oil and I'm good to go. But like I, this is just a classic. It's a classic. Lila B. So this is their actual concealer, but I use it as a foundation, which is why it's in this pile. So this is their Virtuous Veil Concealer and Eye Primer in the shade Be Polished. But this works really nicely as a foundation shade for me. Um, and this is beautiful. So this formula is very creamy. I'm gonna talk more about this in my favorites video. Um, but the formula is very creamy, very emollient, but not too greasy, sets the face beautifully or sets in the face beautifully, and it's gorgeous. So um, I'm keeping this for sure. NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. This is their mini size and uh, same shade cat is. And I got the mini size because I have a lot of foundations and I barely go through any of them. Actually, I have yet to go through one foundation because I used it all. So I got the mini size and I felt like the mini size was an actual good size of foundation. But this one is beautiful. It does last very long on the skin. Does have more of a radiant finish. So if you have oily skin and you don't like dewier foundations, I would probably steer clear of this one. But it's not too dewy on the skin, if that makes sense. Um, so I really do like this one. The Dior Backstage Foundation. I have two sample sizes and I was like, well, why purchase the full size when I have these sample sizes? So that's why I don't have the full size. But I have them both in the shade 4N. Beautiful lightweight foundation. This is one of those kind of like, I need to put a little something on my face and be out the door. And this is this particular foundation formula is great for that. It has a nice natural finish. Um, sometimes I set it, sometimes I don't, just depending on the look that I'm going for, but definitely keeping them. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I have two shades. This shade is shade 10 warm, and this is more of a summer shade for me. And then this is 10 neutral, and this shade works better in the winter time. Both of them are really pretty on the skin, so full coverage foundations. The formula can be a little dry, so if needed, sometimes I will either add more of a um, dewy primer when I put this on or I'll add a drop of oil to the foundation but this is really pretty on the skin if I'm going for more of a glam look I will reach for this one so I like this one NYX Born to Glow foundation I have it in the shade cinnamon and this is a beautiful one from the drugstore it's really pretty very nice and luminous on the skin um it's not heavy on the skin and it actually lasts very well throughout the day for it to be more of a dewier radiant foundation. Um, however, once again, I don't, I'm not using it, so it's gonna be decluttered. Okay, Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. I wear mine in the shade 4.5N and love this. Like, love this foundation. I don't know why I just did that. But um, what I like to do is I like to just spray it directly onto my face because I do not want to waste product. And then I just blend it out and it just looks so pretty on the skin. Love this. I will definitely repurchase this. Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Jack Mel. This foundation stick actually is really pretty, but I don't use it anymore. And I feel like formula wise, it might be, looks like it's like kind of dried out too. Um, so I'm going to declutter this one, but this foundation is, it has nice coverage. It's not full coverage, 
um, and the formula was not overly dewy and it did sit nice on the skin. I do have a review of this one. So if you are interested in it, once again, like I said, just check my playlist in the description box and you can watch it, but I'm gonna declutter this one. Minted Cosmetics. I have mine in the shade T110 and this is a really nice foundation. I need to wear this one more because I've been sleeping on the foundation. Um, when I do wear it, I'm like, oh my gosh, why don't I pick up this one more? But I, I really do like it. The foundation stick is not overly dewy and it's not overly creamy, but it does blend into the skin very nicely and gives you a nice medium coverage with a natural finish. So not too dewy, not too matte, but a really nice one. Dubious Place, I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation. I have mine in the shade Punta Cana. This is full, full, full coverage. She don't play, she does not play. Um, last through the summer heat. I remember purchasing this in the summer and it lasted through the heat. I was sweating. It did not budge or move. So this is a good one from the drugstore. However, I am going to declutter it because I don't reach for it. And if I'm, if I'm going to go for like foolproof matte foundation that it's not going to budge in the summer, I'm going to reach for this one over the Juvia's Place. Lancome Tinty Doll ultra wear foundation i have mine in the shade 435 bisque and beautiful i mean beautiful this would be another one that i would reach for if i wanted like full coverage all day wear kind of waterproof foundation it's just it's beautiful on the skin lasts very well on the skin um and i was i'm a late bloomer to this one but i'm here i got it <laughs> and i really do like it so she's a keeper tommy ford soft matte foundation this i have in the shade 7.7 .7 honey and i can't even say enough about it i've done a full day wear test this one has been in my favorites video um I, it's just beautiful so beautiful on the skin i love that if that even though it says soft matte it is not matte like overly dry on the skin the formula is beautiful the finish is like nice and natural makes the skin look beautiful oh, it's just a beautiful foundation love it love it Okay, Hourglass Stick Foundation. I have mine in the shade Natural Amber. And I really liked this foundation mixed with another one. What did I used to mix this with? It was a Dior. It was the Dior Forever Foundation. And I decluttered that one last year, I want to say. Um, so I used to mix this foundation with that and I liked it. I wore this one recently and it looked okay on the skin. It wasn't a favorite, but it looked nice on the skin. So I don't know if I want to keep this or not. Part of me wants to just keep it for nostalgia reasons. I remember buying this foundation um, after my grandfather died. So it was like a, a pick-me-up gift. So I want to keep it for that reason, but I don't know. It's going into maybe pile. Okay, Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation. It's in the shade 319N. Okay, this is nice. It, it took a while for it to grow on me, but it's nice. But I don't really reach for it, so I don't know. But this one, y'all, I do know. I love it. This is the Ilia Super Skin Tint SPF 40. I have mine in the shade Kamari ST13, and this is so, so pretty. Definitely a skin tint. So we're not getting like hardly any coverage. We might cover the redness around your nose and that's about it. But <clears throat> I think it's just beautiful on the skin. So I liked, I wore this a lot in the summer. I actually wore this to the pool a couple of times. So that goes to show you like it's not a heavy looking, really any type of coverage foundation, but I love the glow that it left on the skin. So I would just put this on my face and then be out the door, nothing on top. Um, maybe I might put a highlight on top of this if I just want to be even, like more glowy. Is it, is it kind of expensive just to leave a glow on the face? Yeah, maybe, but I really liked it. And then it's got some good ingredients in it too. So um, if you like to think of it like maybe, you know, a little bit of an extra skincare booster type of, you know, makeup, um, you could think of it that way too. But I really did enjoy this one, so I'm keeping it. Pat McGrath's Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation, shade M19. 
can't even begin to tell you how much I love this foundation. One of the reasons why I love this foundation is the same reason why I love the NARS ones. This particular shade, the undertone has a peach undertone. And when I read the description of the undertone, I knew I was gonna love this, if not for the undertone alone. This is more of a matte, I would say more matte, definitely more matte than dewy. But when I say matte, think think of like soft matte. So, cause it's not dewy at all, but it's not overly dry on the skin. I would say if you do have dry skin, you definitely want to prep the skin so your skin is nice and less dry because I could see this being too dry for dry skin. This is another foundation that I can put a little bit on and be out the door and be good with. Like I don't have to add anything else to my face. I can just add this. It's just, it is absolutely one of my favorite foundations. Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. Also have this in the older shade 9.0. Ooh, this one is so pretty. This is like, I used to, I tend to wear this more in the summertime because it's so like skin-like and like, you know, nice and dewy, but not overly dewy. It looks beautiful on the skin and it's not heavy. So it's a really good like summertime foundation. But I will also wear this during the winter and spring months too when I want a lighter coverage. But this is a, this is a favorite. It's not going anywhere. <gasps> Here's my big kahuna. Tom Ford shade and illuminate. I wear this one in the shade 8.7. <laughs> I think this foundation has been the most impressive foundation all year. It's just finish, natural, beautiful, radiant, not too dewy. It lasts very well on the skin and it always makes me feel like 100. I just feel my best self in this foundation. So of course she's a keeper. Okay, Range Beauty. You guys have heard me rave and rave and rave and rave and rave and rave about Range Beauty. Love this foundation. This is in the shade um, Rio. This was also very impressive to me. I found this particular foundation the end of last year, like December 29th last year, <laughs> end of last year. And this has been another another huge favorite of mine. It's so skin-like on the face, has really good um, ingredients in it, in terms of it's the formula is made to not irritate the skin. It's good for acne prone skin and eczema prone skin. Um, and I love, I just love the company and the brand, but I really love the formula of this foundation. Down to the last two, La Mer. The Soft Fluid Foundation, I have mine in the shade Amber 53, and I really do like this foundation. This foundation, though, does not last on the skin as much as I would like for it to, especially for the price, but it does look beautiful. Like, when I wear it, I'm like, I need to wear this foundation more. It does have a fragrance that I could see being kind of annoying to some people. Um, I just smelled it, and yeah, I could see the, the fragrance being maybe just a bit too much for some people. Once you get it on the skin, the, the fragrance does go away some, but it does kind of linger, um, but it doesn't bother me too much, so um, yeah, I'm fine with it. But I do like this one, so she's a keeper. She is a keeper. And then, uh, last but not least, the Chanel Les Beige. Healthy Glow Foundation. Mine is in the shade N91 Caramel. And this shade is probably a little too deep for me, but um, the shade above it was too light. So this, this is the one that I went for. And this is like a really pretty everyday foundation. So gives me nice medium coverage. Definitely is not um, flat on the skin. Has a nice glow to it and um, has some pretty good coverage. Like I can, like this will get me through a work day. So like, I would say this is a really good everyday foundation for someone who's like, I need a little, you know, I want a really nice foundation that I can use every day that's not gonna, you know, irritate my skin. This is like a daytime foundation for me. Like I wouldn't necessarily wear this one at night. This is a really good daytime foundation. Okay, so let's wrap this up. We've got a few over here in the maybe pile. So for the Fit Me foundation, I'm gonna declutter it. it. It's a classic, but I don't reach for it, so declutter. Fenty, uh, I just, I'm not ready to part with it, I'm not. You know, maybe one day I will, but not today. I just can't, I'm not ready. Beauty Bakery, I am gonna declutter it. I just, it's something about this one I just can't get with. Like as much as I wanna like it and I do like it, I just still feel like, so I'm gonna declutter it. I should not feel like that about my foundations. Um, Uma Beauty, I'm gonna keep it and it, try it again. Cause I, I haven't even taken out the box. So I feel like I'm being very unfair. <laughs> 
I'm gonna take it out the box and try it. So we're gonna keep that one. And then Hourglass, I think, I wanna keep it. I do, I wanna keep it. So I guess I should keep it. I'm gonna keep Hourglass. I feel like I, I'm not ready to declutter it. So I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so these are the foundations that I'm keeping. And these are the foundations I'm decluttering. So I didn't do terrible. <laughs> I didn't do terrible. I didn't declutter nearly as much as I thought I would, but at least you guys know what I like. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I'm sorry this video was so long. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave me some of your favorite foundations down below that you just absolutely cannot declutter um, because obviously I don't have every foundation. So if you have some that you think I should try, let me know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you Yes, you, in my very next video. Bye, guys.